goal that our state has of getting to 90% renewable energy by the year 2050. Right now we're about 16%, 17%, depending on who you ask and how they do the math. So we obviously have a long way to go. And depending on who you ask, the 90% goal is either lofty and ambitious, and some would even say pie in the sky. If you ask other people, like me for instance, we would say it's necessary and frankly maybe even not quite fast enough, but absolutely the direction we need to be headed. So VPIRG thinks about energy in a couple of different ways. The one that I wanted to highlight tonight is uh, kind of in, in three different sectors, right? So we've got electric, heating, and transportation. On the electric side, we have a long way to go. You know, make no mistake about it, but we've made a lot of progress in the state with our policies, with solar popping up here, there, and everywhere around the state. Uh, we're really headed in the right direction on electricity. On heating and on transportation, we're really more in the starting to scratch the surface category. Uh, and there's one big difference between electricity and heating on the one hand and heating and transportation on the other that I wanted to highlight. And that's the fact that on the electric sector, you could solve in the sense of getting to the 90% goal. You could do that primarily just by transitioning from centralized fossil fuel sources to centralized renewable sources. Now there are better ways to go. We are gonna need some large renewables to be part of the mix, but we also need a lot of distributed generation solar on you know, roofs like this one and all of your homes. Um, that really is a better way to go, but if you, if push came to shove, you could do it with centralized sources. For heating and transportation, and heating of course is what I'm gonna focus on because that's why we're here tonight, you don't have that option. Heating is going to be solved by one Vermont at a time, one church at a time, one business at a time, making choices about what kind of energy they want. You, the, you've heard recently uh, from folks like Vermont Gas Systems that really the options that we have on heating our homes and businesses in Vermont are fossil fuel A or fossil fuel B, which is kinder and gentle. And that's just lucky for us and for Vermont and for frankly everyone everywhere, not actually accurate. We have a whole menu of options for cleaner, more local, and frankly more cost effective ways of heating our homes and the other buildings that we reside in in Vermont. And that's what all of these wonderful people are going to talk to you about tonight is, you know, what is on that menu and what are the, you know, choice or two or three that every single person in this room could make to cut your heating bill drastically and your fossil fuel use, you know, to near zero or actually at zero. So that really is the, the fundamental message here is you know, we're being told we've got fracked gas on one hand and that's the, that's the new direction to go. That we have oil and propane now and really we just need to go to this clean natural gas. Um, that's fundamentally false and I'm really grateful that you all came out here to hear about some of the options that we've got. So I uh, wanted to turn it over first uh, to Tom Hughes from Popcorn. Uh, I wanted to turn it over first to Tom Hughes, who's the Sun, uh, CEO of Sunward Systems, based uh, right here in Addison County. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about solar hot water and some of the equipment they actually manufacture locally here. Great. And really, you've got a slideshow. Are you going to be able to advance it? So, um, uh, before I start, um, I want to put on a different hat than my summer hat, which is that I also serve on the board of uh, Renewable Energy Vermont, which is the statewide trade association that represents all of the renewable energy businesses in the state. And uh, with that hat on, I want to thank Ben and I want to thank Beeper for all the work that you've done over the last uh, many years to move Vermont in a renewable direction. It's uh, made an enormous difference, and uh, um, the state owes the organization a, a, a big thanks, but uh, in particular, all of the members of the Power Organization. 
So let me take off my renewable energy from my rev hat and put back on my Sunward Systems hat. I want to talk to you just for five minutes about uh, Sunward Systems, uh, how solar hot water systems work and what their savings would be. And uh, so sort of a, uh, a cost uh, profile for a typical system. And every household is going to be different. But before I begin, let me ask, how many people have used some hot water? Okay, everybody is, uh, every, I think everybody raised their hand. And if you don't, uh, maybe that's why nobody's sitting next to you. Uh, <laughs> on to the next slide. So, uh, Sunward Systems, we were, um, like Ben said, we were founded in Vermont, or founded in Addison County and for Jen's, we were a division of Country Home Products for a while. Now we uh, have spun off and we're our only independent company. We did move up the road, we're located in Shelburne. Um, we do assembly and distribution of equipment here and uh, we employ or work with local installers across the, across the state and across the country. Next slide. So um, uh, over the course of the last five years, since uh, 2009, we've really uh, worked on a whole bunch of different programs, um, Co-op Solar being one of them, which is a collaboration with a fuel oil dealer in, in uh, Chittenden County. Um, that program won the Governor's Award for Environmental Excellence a couple of years ago. We were also happy to work with VPIRG in 2011 on uh, the VPIRG Energy Program. Next slide. So, um, a solar hot water system works as a preheater to your existing system. So everybody has a hot water system in their home right now. It could be an electric system. It could be fired with propane or fuel oil. In some cases, uh, um, uh, you know, it could be a, a, off of a wood boiler. But um, the typical household that uses propane, a uh, four-person household, is going to spend about $700 a year on propane. And a solar hot water system, just a typical solar hot water kit, can save about 200 or save about 75% of that cost, reducing your propane usage by 75%, and the bill down, um, saving you about $525 a year. Next slide. The the typical equipment, um, it has the collectors. Generally, they're up on the roof, but they can go down on the ground. Um, there's a, a heat exchanger of some. Uh, some sort that captures the energy that's collected on the roof and transfers it to your domestic hot water, the water you use for bathing and washing uh, dishes. And um, the collectors can go on the ground. This is a picture of a steel frame ground mounted system that uh, uh, we make the steel frames in St. John's Bear. So, next slide. Typically though, if you've got a, a well-oriented roof, you're gonna to wanna to put it up on the, on the roof. You're save a little bit of money because there's uh, um, less equipment involved. Next slide. Or if you'd like, we can uh, build a timber frame kit for you and you can turn the, the frame for it into a garden shed or a chicken coop and uh, have a nice little outbuilding that uh, serves a, a, another function for you. Some people are storing their um, their cord wood or their wood pellets in there. Next slide. So typical equipment costs for a, a summer kit is about $7,000 and installation will generally run about $2,000. The, um, uh, so that's the, the top line number, but that's not what you're gonna end up paying. Let's flip on to the next slide. The state of Vermont has a clean energy development fund, which is there to promote the deployment of clean energy technologies like solar. And uh, they offer a $450 credit per panel. Um, and most systems have two panels, so you'd be saving $900 off the system. The federal government also is uh, pushing um, solar, and the way that they do that is through a tax credit, and that would be a 30% federal tax credit off of the entire cost of the system. So, next slide. So, uh, it might be a little bit small for everybody, but your um, initial cost would be about $89.99. Your uh, clean energy development costs, or rebate, brings $900 off of that. And then you have a federal tax credit. So your net cost is about $5,600. Every house is gonna be a little bit different because installation is different for every house. Flip on to the next 
Next one. So payback is the question that uh, we get asked a lot. And this is, again, for that typical family of four, um, your payback period is going to be about 10 years on a solar hot water system. That's if the cost of uh, your energy doesn't go up at all. There's no rise in inflation. Um, fossil fuel prices have been going up on average 8 to 10 percent a year for the last decade. So um, the cost of uh, fuel oil and propane has doubled within the last 10 years. And if that continues over the course of the next 10 years, your payback period is going to be shorter. It will only be about eight years. There's, uh, there's lots of financing options available for uh, renewable energy products in Vermont. Sunward, our, the bank that we do business with is National Bank of Middlebury. Um, a lot of our customers have used uh, VSCCU and had a lot of success um, tapping into their loan products. But right now, interest rates are at uh, historic lows and um, there's excellent renewable energy loan products out there if you don't have $5,600 sitting around in your checkbook. <laughs> the next slide. Um, this might be a little difficult to read, but there's three lines on this um, representing what your cash position would be um, if you chose to purchase the system outright, and that's that blue line. You're going to spend $5,600 up in, the, in year one, and uh, uh, at about year seven or eight, nine, you're, uh, you'll have the system paid back, and all of the savings after that go into your, our, our savings that, that add to your bottom line. So over the course of 20 year ownership of the system, you'll end up having, you'll end that 20 years with $14,000 more in your pocket than you would have if you didn't install a solar hot water system. Um, the red line represents uh, taking out a loan that you pay back over a five year period. And the yellow line is really interesting uh, because that's a 15 year loan product which uh, the SECU offers. And when you look at that one, it does an interesting thing. It, uh, it never goes below zero. You always have more cash in your pocket um, when you install a solar hot water system and you take out a long-term low-interest loan from one of the state credit unions. And so uh, um, that's hard to beat. You're saving, uh, saving carbon and uh, you have money, more money in your pocket than you did before you installed the system. Next slide. So that's, uh, that's who I am and that's how you can reach me. And uh, the next slide is a bunch of pretty pictures of installations around the city. <laughs> Thanks very much.